astounding thing about the budget figuring, the surplus and deficit, is that it's very little different to what was forecast in uh, what we call MIEFO, the uh, mid-year budget update in December. Very little different. We have surplus in the same year, deficit in the same year. Each year there's only a few billion between them. Now that's because the government has more revenue than it expected from companies, think in terms of uh, mining prices, but less revenue than it expected uh, from us, think in terms of revenue from domestic companies, so revenue which is affected by consumer spending. Now this is bad because the revenue from companies may well be temporary. This uh, blip we've had in mining prices might not last. Depends what's happening in China. We don't know. But what's happening domestically is a considerable cause of concern. Consumer spending is growing much more slowly than expected just last December in the Frydenberg's mid-year budget update and a lot more slowly than was expected a year ago, last May, in what was then Treasurer Morrison's final budget. We see the same with wages and we've seen house prices fall. Now, low consumer spending, unfortunate for the moment, but potentially something of a cancer because it can feed on itself. If employers decide that, hey, maybe, you know, they're not going to need to uh, produce as many things, employ as many people. That's why this budget introduces something of a, a Kevin Rudd style cash splash. Now, hold that thought, it, it, it's not silly. Remember Kevin Rudd handed out $800 to uh, eligible people throughout the country. Some of the people, in fact, were outside the country. Some of them weren't even alive. He did that in order to boost spending. What Josh Frydenberg has done is pretty darn similar. He's taken an existing measure, a measure of, uh, from the last budget, which was uh, it's called a tax offset of around $500 to people on, on middle incomes. Um, you get that back after you've uh, put in your tax return, right? The first of those bonuses are due to be paid out shortly after people put in their tax returns in July. He's increased that, uh, almost doubled it, but he's done it retrospectively. He's done it for the financial year, which is already nearly over. Uh, effectively, he will be giving households or individuals a cash splash of $1,000, uh, a bit over that, uh, within, uh, within weeks, uh, shortly after the turn of the new financial year in July. Now, that money is probably needed politically. More importantly, with poor consumer spending, it's probably needed economically.